I must have acted like a mad thing that night. The only thing I can remember of True's party is being hoisted onto someone's shoulder while I wondered who was going to do me that night. <laughs> Thank God for True. I don't know how he stands me. I call him in the middle of the night to complain about my lack of orgasm, and he listens patiently. <laughs> so few care. <laughs> Tennessee cares. Tennessee calls me in the middle of the night and asks me to sing something for him and, and, and sing his blues away. Uh, do you know Tennessee Williams, darling? I believe everybody in America knows who Tennessee Williams is, Miss Bankhead. Well, not everybody. But I must admit he's almost as famous as I am. Oh, Tallulah. Oh, all right, all right, I'll behave. Tennessee and I have had our ups and downs, but I'm sure he's forgiven me by now. Uh, let's press on, darling. Let's press on here. Uh, you were referred to me by Louisa Carpenter. Uh, she did send you over, didn't she? Yes, and uh, Mildred Dunnock spoke to you about me also, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> David. David. You don't look like a David to me. What do you mean by that? Oh, just one of my bad jokes, darling. But David has never been one of my favorite names. It's too... Biblical for my taste. Ah. <laughs> you look, you look more like a John to me. Johnny, that's it. You don't mind if I call you Johnny, do you, oh, darling? Do not behave yourself. But look at him, Estelle. Isn't he the most perfect Johnny? You know, all of my most favorite men in the whole world have been named John. My uncle, my grandfather, my even the first little boy pulling down my panties to play doctor was a Johnny. I married a John to my regret. It was an odd kind of a relationship, I guess. I think I terrorized him most of the time, as did my pet lion, Winston. Winston couldn't stand him. Found him unspeakable as well as inedible. <laughs> After we divorced, he married a friend of mine who looked like me but was singularly unthreatening. A perfect pairing. <laughs> Are you, uh... Following along with me, Johnny, you look a bit confused. I never understood why you couldn't make that marriage work. You were such a handsome couple. Oh, poor lost John Emery. My bargain basement Barrymore. <laughs> Hung like a horse. <laughs> as my daddy would say. Yeah, I used to call it his member, as if we needed a quorum to get on with it. <laughs> Later on, I tended to agree with him. <laughs> Am I shocking you, darling? You're looking a bit pale. I don't shock easily, Miss Bankhead. Mm, I wouldn't be too sure about that, you know. There are people who find me hard to swallow at times. I seem to push on to the very limits of taste, as it were. I don't know how Stella stood me all these years. Because I know you're just a naughty little girl. <laughs> How do you expect me to take anything you say seriously? Oh, you know, I've been told that there are people who actually can't stand me. Really? <laughs> My whole life has been controversial, Johnny. I keep wishing that, that those who dislike me wouldn't mind so much if they got to know me better. Those who call me evil, wicked, malicious, those are the ones who tell the biggest lies about me. The dozens of abortions, the homosexual affairs, the orgies with cocaine, the nymphomania, the number of husbands I'm supposed to have stolen. These are the ones who have their dirty little affairs in cheap hotel rooms. I am at the least honest in my amours. If I steal someone's husband, I assure her that I'm looking forward to having her as my next lover. 